Alexei Navalny was killed by MI6. What? And what business is that? I help people with problems. Problem solver. I'm more of a problem eliminator. Have you gone nuts? Are you nuts? Well, let's look at the evidence. What's the advantage for Putin to kill Navalny? He was his chief rival. If your chief rival secures 1-2% to 2 of the vote, are you really a rival? He was already in prison. There's the advantage for Putin to kill Navalny. What have the British got to gain from killing him? Well, let's have a look at that. Navalny was already known to have been a contact of the British Secret Service. His top advisor was filmed on an undercover camera, discussing how much money it was going to cost disseminate propaganda within Russia. Contact was a known MI6 agent. Valny's wife was already in Berlin. She'd been invited to speak to the Munich Security Conference. There was no problem in getting her out once he died. He got the whole floor. He spoke to everyone. Didn't even look that shocked. In Sutherland, she'd been widowed less than a day. Timing this just screams wrong from all sorts of perspectives. From a Russian standpoint, but right from a British standpoint. Takes away the heat from the Tucker Carlson interview. Carlson asked if he could take Evan Gershowitz home with him. The American journalist who's currently residing in a Russian prison for receiving classified information regarding top secret missiles that are built in a plant that he just happened to be next to when he was given that information. A journalist or a useful tool, or a, a useful idiot, if you would say, of the CIA. Maybe, maybe not. But regardless of that, Putin gave the game away when he said to Tucker it was being discussed in channels. That means the FSB was speaking to the CIA. Therefore, the CIA is involved in this one. He's not an innocent journalist. What about Navalny? He's relinquishing in a, a Russian gulag. Why... Why would, why would Putin then terminate him a couple of days after Tucker just asked him to release an American journalist? Why would he do it a couple of weeks, months after American journalist Gonzalo Lira had been killed in a, uh, had died in a Ukrainian prison? Where's the advantage for Putin? Again, we go back to Britain. Where's the advantage there? Well, it takes... It takes some of the pressure off of the fact that Russia had accused Britain of being involved in the IL-76 shootdown of the plane that was carrying prisoners of war back to Ukraine. It takes heat away from the Tucker Carlson interview, as I've already said. It takes some of the pressure off after the Butcher's first real military operation in which he failed miserably. Vika fell to Russia three days after he'd gone to visit them. Then Rishi Sunak goes and puts salt in the wound, doesn't he, by releasing a statement today. Alexei Navalny died for a cause to which he dedicated his whole life, freedom. To return home, knowing that Putin had already tried to have him killed, was one of the most courageous acts of the 21st century. So together with allies, we are considering all options to hold Russia to account. And this morning we sanctioned those running the prison where Navalny's body still lies. That's convenient. And remember, Britain's already been implicated in the strikes on the Crimea Bridge, the strike on the Nord Stream Pipeline. So Britain's no stranger to operating in this neck of the woods, in my view. Nothing can be wholeheartedly proven at this point. It certainly gives you pause for thought that the British Security Service might be doing more than you actually think. And, and you say, how could they operate in Russia? Well, they have very close ties with the Ukrainian military. They've been running operations for them, and the Ukrainian military have very close ties with the Russian comrades, because Ukrainians and Russians have lived together since the formation of the Soviet Union. So Britain's well-placed to be able to make a strike on them. Navalny's lawyer visited him two days before he died. Two days. Was something introduced to him at that point? Who knows? This is pure speculation, but although it's speculation, Britain has a lot more to gain 
at this point in the juncture from Navalny's death than almost anyone else. So maybe Britain did kill Alexei. I know this, him dying during the Munich Security Conference in the middle of the debate on Ukraine funding, both of which they're highly aware of, doesn't help Russia. Yeah. So the people saying, oh, Putin just had him murdered last week because they're idiots.